What's going on guys, SP Architects here. Today we are going to model coffee shop in Archicad. This coffee shop will contain some fluid elements. We are not going to model all fluid parts one by one. I am going to show you a short way of doing that. As you can see, other parts of the building will be basic. So that means we will consent our weight on the facade. Before beginning the tutorial, I will just like to ask you to like this tutorial. It's going to help this channel to growing up with the YouTube algorithms. And I suggest you to subscribe because I'm going to make similar tutorials for the channel. Let's get started. Alright, here we are in ArcKit and as you can see, I'm using ArcKit 26. There is nothing new here, only a little things which doesn't need to be explained. They are basic parts, they are very basic. At the beginning of the tutorial, I'm going to change the unit system from the options, project preferences from the working units. It's going to be centimeter let's change it to centimeter and let's click ok now we are ready first we start with the wall tool let's click it change the structure type to simple and we can make the wall 25 and this part of the wall will be 10 meters and this part of the wall will be 6 meters And for the ground floor of the building, it will be actually 60 square meters. If you want to increase the size, of course, you are free to do that by selecting all of the wall. You can just scratch as I did. You can directly input your values, for instance, 2 meters here, 1 meter here, and now it's 12 meters to 7 meters now let's place some basic doors and windows from the door i am going to use store from door from here store fronts we have this entrance double door we can use this one and change the style to style 5 click ok our entrance may be placed here we can change the seal elevation to zero hit enter and now we are going to go to the window let's click it and again storefronts and storefronts window but this time i want to make this 500 width and this a value will be 5 so it means each division will be equal to 1 meter let's click ok and place if you want to connect them together you can merge them and elevation of the seal will be zero but if you are doing something like this i suggest you to change the door style to this storefront with transom but double one and as you can realize this bottom frame is too thick so let's change it to five there we go it's way more better now each division is one meter we can make it to 1.5 so we can change the a size to 750 just like that and there we go this is the basic part of the building of course you can add more you can add a slab of course from the ground floor from the exterior size of the building and of course you can place your entrance road and turn this into 
I asphalt something like that or asphalt light way more better we can place some grass here let's change the material type in grass we can duplicate it Okay, there we go. Now let's go to the story one and right click the ground floor, click show a trace reference. After that, when we click it, we will see the ground floor. With that, we can easily place our slab. And for this slab, I want this to be extended as two meters. To this direction for 150 centimeters or 10 centimeters more and I'm gonna input here 250 centimeters these will be terrace and balcony for the building once we click the trace reference we can copy parts of the reference floor with the old key from your keyboard This wall is not going to be extended all of the building. I'm going to finish it from the half. And intersect them. Just like that. Maybe one more part can be extended to here. Something like this. By the way, the thickness of the slab is 30 centimeters. I suggest you to make this 15 centimeters. And around the slab, I suggest you to place some to place some beam around it. The thickness will be 50 centimeters to 25 centimeters. Reference axis location. We'll use this corner, hit the spacebar and click your slab. If the position is not correct, you can click the other direction like this. Now this is way more better for the structure. Once we have done that, I'm going to copy our doors. This is going to be sealed to wall base. and our windows but as you can see the width of the window is too big let's make this 3 meters and change the A division value to 3 or 2 like this one Where is our door? Okay, let's make it again. Alright, let's make our second slab for this one from the story to hit the space and click. But before hitting the space, as you can remember, I hit the old key and click the slab. Once we have done it, we hit the space and place. And of course, it fulfills the inside, so we can offset all of the edges. And you can use this, the shape comes from. But just for information, if we are going to use this slab like this, we cannot make this because 
a beam going to turn around of the slab. For this reason, we have to decrease the height of the door and window. We can decrease the height of the door and window or instead of that we can give some eave or offset to the slab. For instance, 60 centimeters. Also 60 centimeters here. And hold click the beam, hit the space, click the slab, and we will get something like this. By the way, for the designing purpose, I'm going to smooth those corners. Let's click the slab, click the corner, click the chamfer. I'm going to place here 150 and it looks nice already. Same value here and let's make the same for the other beam parts. There we go. We have some flickering problem around this. To solve it, we can of course offset our slab and we won't see the flickering problem. Also I will add additional beams for the second floor or I can extend them. Let's click our beam in our story and duplicate them. For instance, 5 meters. Let's just intersect them. We can intersect them. And we can give the same chamfer value for these corners too. One hundred and fifty centimeters. We have something wrong here. There is an elevation problem between the beam and slab. To see the problem, I am going to click the beam. As you can see here, our home story value is minus fifteen. To solve this, we are going to select all of the beam. And let's input here zero. And same problem will be appeared as we see for this corner. The solution will be the same. We will click the slab, offset inside as 25 centimeters. I think this beam position will be more elegant if I place it to here. The next step will be changing the slab position to inside of this wall. Maybe something like this. I don't know, it depends to you. Now we will have additional story for the building. Now we are going to create it from the ground floor. Let's click one of the floor and click settings and we will click insert above and we can click ok. We are in the third story now. Let's click the wall tool again and wall height is 3 meters from the story 3 to unlimited. Ok, let's do it. But this time this wall start from the exactly on the top of the beam. Let's change the direction with this icon and create our third story. But I want to have an additional chamfer for this corner, just as we did before. 
sorry, those walls must be placed in the second story. Let's change it, no problem. From here, let's click the second story and to link them, we can click the third. There we go. Now, I think the beams doesn't have enough thickness for the design. Let's increase them. Maybe we can make them one meter or 80 centimeters and I will give them some additional elevation such as 20 centimeters. Alright, once we have achieved this, we will create our flute parts now. We can make them different ways. One of them is using mesh tool. But you can ask me a question. Why don't we use slab tool instead of the mesh tool? Because to avoid mixing them wrongly, using mesh is better. Because the building consists in with slabs. You can accidentally click the slab of the building. Just to avoid mixing them wrongly, we are going to use mesh. To use mesh tool, we are going to go to floor. And we will sketch it out first with basic lines. So as not to confuse me, I'm going to turn off the trace and hit the L from the document. Let's click the arc circle. Let's click the starting point. 4 cm. Ok, never mind this, I will show you a better way of doing this. Let's go to Options, Complex Profiles, go to Profile Manager. Let's click this plus and let's input a name here which is Flute. We can place it in the Profiles folder and click OK. Click Edit. OK, now let's delete them all. Clean them and same thing happens from the arc circle. Let's place a circle with the diameter of 4 and is fulfilled inside. Now we will split this. We will see an axe here. Split from here to here. Click the bottom part and hit delete. Now we can delete the circle line. And as you can see, the center part still in the same position. Now, if we click with stretch and hide stretch, they will be useful in the future. Now, the use width will be changed to column. Once we have done this, we will assign any material. Let's click the fill and from the override surfaces, this can be paint, ivory, black and click the save. Let's click OK. Now we can go back to the floor plan and place our new column. Go to design, click the column, click the structure and we are going to click the complex profile. Let's click custom, we will see our flute. Maybe it can be placed here. In the 3D window, we will see this. We can stretch the starting position and stretch the end position. Just like this. The purpose of the using profile manager, we can change the size of the column. From here, for instance, 6 or 16 or we can enlarge to other directions if you think this is too big you can make this 3 you can make this 6 it will be way more better and 
just think about it you will have hundreds of these and you will change them with one click one input box to moving on i am gonna place this corner to here and from the ground floor we will hit ctrl plus u we will see this array options we will click this pick path before input and this is important rotate to path let's click ok now i'm just hovering over it i'm not clicking anything if you see a complete fulfilled preview you are in the true way let's click it and click the reference point of your model to here to here there we go way more faster Too dark. Let's change the color. Yeah, we forget it to rotate to here. First, let's copy one of them, rotate. Control plus U from here to here and array. Now I'm just going to copy one of them, go to second story and right click the story one, go as trace, and I will see the upper beam part and I'm gonna place according to that beam. Starting point will be here, and I'm gonna rotate it. Let's see if we see the path clearly. Maybe we can use these paths. I don't know. Let's try it. Nope, it isn't working. Maybe move here again try once more here to here there we go let's go back one step and forward one step now we will have selected all of the newly created flutes let's change their height and match them to their true height same thing happens here i'm gonna array it there we go. This is how you can make coffee shop with fluid facade type in Archicad. If you have any question or suggestion, please let me know in the comment section below. I'm gonna share the project file in the Patreon page. Also in the page, you will also find some advanced Archicad tutorials and some advanced libraries. If you learn something new, please hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe. It's very important for the YouTube algorithms in order to make the channel larger so I will record more tutorials for you. Until the next time, have a nice day.